Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video about how to get over or ignore um, bad thoughts um, during eating disorder recovery. I had a request to do this video and I thought it'd be interesting. So um, I sort of broke it up into two categories. Um, thoughts that linger, so like long-term thoughts I guess, and um, short-term thoughts or temporary thoughts. So I'll give a couple examples of each and I'll try to show you how I would deal with them. Um, so yeah, uh, temp I'll start off with temporary thoughts I guess. So one of my most common temporary thoughts is that I need to work out like I need to go exercise or else I don't know what will happen. So like, instead of listening to those thoughts, um, which is probably not a good idea because then you'll never fully recover if you just listen to your thoughts, um, I like to occupy myself with something else, or if I'm feeling really courageous, I guess, I'll try to like, think about what I'm actually gaining from exercising. And like often it'll just be like I'll be weaker after and I'm not really going forward in recovery by exercising and stuff so those are some things I try to tell myself otherwise if I'm not feeling so strong I'll like often I'll go study or do art or listen to music or Stuff like that, try to occupy yourself instead of actually listening to your thoughts is one of the biggest solutions. Um, another temporary thought is that um, I often see a certain food in front of me and I'm just like, I can't eat that. And like, it's easy to say that you can't eat something, but you're never going to recover if you don't try it or like, if you don't get over your fear of food. And the only way to face to get over a fear is to face it. Um, so what I do, or what I suggest you do, is just you just eat it, and you deal with your, how you're feeling afterwards. And um, often you'll feel pretty proud of yourself. Otherwise, you'll feel guilty, but the guilt will pass. Like. Um, like, you won't feel guilty for the rest of your life because you ate a piece of chocolate. Like, eventually you will forget about it. And as hard as that may seem in the moment, just trust me. And I've been through it. I'm going through it right now. You know, just kick yourself in the butt a bit. <laughs> so, those are my two main temporary thoughts I thought of. Um, so, let's see. As for thoughts that linger... Um, Mine are often that I look in the mirror and I see a fat person and it's always been there. I still see myself as fat. Um, I don't think it'll change no matter how much I weigh, so... And people tell me I'm not fat, so I guess... I don't know, it's either they're lying or they're right, but... Everyone's entitled to their own opinions and I think that I'm fat. Um, well... I am more intelligent than that, like, according to my weight, I'm not fat, but, you know, people with eating disorders understand. So, instead of just looking in the mirror and seeing how fat I am, um, one thing I've been doing lately is just, like, looking in the mirror but not judging what I see, like, staying neutral. Like, I see myself in the mirror, okay, nothing. Like instead of saying, oh, my hair is so ugly, or I'm so fat, or my ribs need to stick out more, you know, I just don't think anything when I see myself in the mirror. It's very hard to do, but it's worth a try. Um, other than that, you know, just don't look in the mirror, right? That's hard to do, I guess, but I don't know. That seems like the most obvious solution. Easier said than done. Um... So yeah, my biggest suggestion was just to like, learn to accept yourself, I guess. And slowly you can do that by looking in the mirror and not judging what you see. Um, another long-term thought that I have is 
um, like, my lack of confidence and self-esteem. So, like, I guess the only thing that you could really do about that is, like, to work on it long-term, like, work on your confidence and work on your self-esteem, like, um, don't be afraid to say what you think and, um, accept your appearance especially, that's one of the biggest steps in recovery, that, you know, accept that you're born a certain way, you're not gonna change. You can have friends that are super skinny or super fat and it doesn't change who they are on the inside and, um, some people, like, their body ties are just made a certain way, like, you can be built more muscular, you can be built skinnier, you can be round, you could be a stick, you know, people are naturally different, so you can't try to change something that's impossible to change. Like, we don't try to change our foot size because we think it's too big, so why should we try to change our body size? It's not going to change either. You may think that you can change the way that you look, but in reality, you can't. It'll always go back to a certain weight um, that your body is, like, programmed at, so... That's basically what you need to learn. And finally, another long-term thought would be, like, suicidal thoughts. Um, my suggestion with that is, you know, don't isolate yourself. Um, you can also try writing um, about what you're feeling. Um, because the feelings will pass, like the urges. So you just need to find ways to occupy yourself during those urges, no matter how long they last. If they can last five minutes, an hour, two hours a day, a week, a month, you know, they won't last your whole life. You need to, like, occupy yourself. And, um, stay in the open, don't isolate yourself, especially. Um, if you feel like you could talk to people also, um, that can also be helpful. Talk to someone that you trust. So those are basically all my suggestions on how I get over bad ED thoughts. Um, I don't know if this was helpful, I hope so. Um, if you have any requests, you can let me know, any questions or anything. So thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll talk to you soon.